Hello, everyone, and welcome to Empowered Budgets. I'm Monica, and my husband and I are on a journey to be financially independent, and we want to live free from debt and be fruitful with the things that we do love in life. I am a cash stuffer. I do not stuff my entire paycheck. I have a system. I did just put a video up about that. I may do another one in the future to be more clear, but if you have any questions, you can leave comments and I will gladly answer them below. Leave a like and subscribe if you're interested in cash stuffing, budgeting, and all that kind of content. So I have $470 today to cash stuff. So let's just give it a quick count. 100, 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 380, 90, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Perfect, 470. All righty. All right, and I'm going to empty my wallet first. And then I have receipts that I'm going to scan into Fetch later. If you guys don't use Fetch, you definitely should. You take pictures of any receipt and you get points, and then you get cash back in the form of gift cards. So let me get all my change out. I think I mentioned this before, but um, I got a purse recently. Well, I was stuffing for a purse and I finally decided to buy one. And I went to a thrift store and I got a purse for $10 and I really like it. And I definitely usually use my purses until they die. So... I figured I would get an expensive one this time, but I really needed one because my purse died. So <laughs> I got a new purse and it was only $10. And I'm gonna put all this change in my blonde moments jar. I'm not blonde, but I got this from a work event and it was just really funny. So I kept it and decided to put coins in it. And also the other communal jar that I have my husband just loves to take all the quarters out of it and like buy things at the gas station so then it doesn't really save up anything. So I thought maybe he wouldn't take it if he couldn't see it through the clear glass. But all right, so technically I'm going to start by unstuffing my wallet. Um, I just carry these envelopes with me in my purse. I don't actually like have like a wallet binder. So I'm going to roll over the things that I have left. So groceries, let's see, let's say groceries. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, sorry, not roll over. I'm gonna stuff this in my savings challenge. And then I've got generosity is two dollars. And then eating out, I have ten dollars. Nails has nothing. Day night has nothing. Okay, so I will save these for later for putting it in my savings challenge. Oop, put that over here. All right, so let's start with groceries. Groceries gets $200. There goes my 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. $200 in groceries. And then I will definitely put who I got these from in the description box. I think I said I would do that in my first video and I forgot, but I think it's like Just Dreams or something. It's on Etsy. Um, this gets a five for generosity. This is if I, you know, didn't have enough money to like buy coffee for a friend, if we're stopping for coffee, or if I see someone who's in need, I usually let this build up. But since I had spent out of it, I just rolled over the ones and I'm going to fill it back up. Okay, let's see. Eating out gets $30. Nails is going to get 
60. I told myself I wasn't going to get my nails done again. Oh, but man, I just really want to get my nails done. They're really bad. They're really grown out. I thought I would just brave not having them, but it's just something that I really love to do. Okay, date night is getting 30. So now we're going to do fives. My bank has a denomination, like a specific denomination uh, ATM, but it won't dispense tens. So I have a ton of fives. And then health is going to get. How much should I put in this one? Date night. Date night is supposed to get 15. I don't know why I did that. 5, 10, 15. Okay, now health gets 20. Yes, health gets 20. But yeah, so I have a lot of fives because my bank is always closed whenever I want to get denominations and I get a ton of fives so they can't get tens. And it wouldn't let me get enough 20s, which was kind of annoying. All right, so this one has 20, 40, 65. That's awesome. That's the most this one has ever had. Alrighty, and then household has nothing and we need to add 25, 20, and a 5. And this 5 has seen some better days. 25 in that one. And now we have car. Car needs 20. I got an oil change recently and spent thousands to get my AC fixed. So we need to build, bulk this back up. Self-care. Self-care is getting 30. Two fives, because that's what I have. Oh, there's money in here. All right. Oh, cool. 20, 40, 60, 5, 70. Ooh, I can get my moisturizer. Clothing. Clothing is getting 30. That's my last 20. All right, 20. And these fives are ugly. 20, 40, 5, 50, 55, right? Yeah, 40. 50, 55, yeah. 55 in clothing, bulking that up because I need some things. Nothing for shoes, fun with friends. This is one of my favorite envelopes. Okay, got adding 15, 5, 10, 15. So I have 30, 40, 50. Really? Oh, that's so exciting. 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, that's so awesome. $50 in fun with friends. All right, shopping. I don't think that's getting anything. No. And then budget binder is getting 15 as well. And then we have one last five. We're going to go into my other binder. And we are going to say, so we're skipping almost everything. So we're skipping emergency, debt, personal, miscellaneous. This is my donations envelopes. So we're going to add five. 25 in there and then gifts we're skipping and then this is my savings challenge I kind of just roll over everything into one envelope so we've got 20 40 50 60 65 66 67 68 dollars in there right now so we're gonna add tens ones and fives 
I feel like the ones always add up faster than I think they will. <clears throat> oh, I thought I already had a 10 in here. I guess I don't. All right, now we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 90, 91. Awesome. This envelope makes me so happy because I never would have saved this much this money at all if I hadn't been cash stuffing. I would have just spent it already, which is pretty awesome. I'm probably going to roll that over into debt and make a big debt payment. Let's see how much debt has in it. Sweet. So I have 111. Yeah, 111. Make an extra payment. That's so awesome. All right, everyone. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.